After a meeting featuring Trump showing us his tough talk, it appears that he has finally retreated on the funding for his border wall. Now this was all part of a larger discussion regarding funding for the government and passing a spending bill. And Trump made it clear that he was not willing to sign any type of spending bill unless it appropriated $5 billion in funding for the border wall. Well, uh, Democrats did stand their ground on this. Uh, both Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer said that they would not uh, sign on to anything that provided $5 billion for the port border wall. And it appears that they have won in this case. Now, the White House on Tuesday dropped its demand that a government funding measure include $5 billion for President Trump's wall on the Mexican border. That was further solidified by Sarah Huckabee Sanders during a recent press conference where she said this. We'll make a determination on whether or not we're going to sign that. In the meantime, we're looking at every avenue available to us possible. The president's asked every one of his cabinet secretaries to look for funding that can be used. So they're trying to find other ways in getting the funding necessary for the wall, but it appears that that's unlikely to happen, especially because you have Republicans in Congress who have said, well, he can't just do that unilaterally, he would need to get. Uh, something passed through Congress. Now, with that said, um, I want to remind you of an earlier discussion um, about this very issue. It's very oh, important. So let's take a look. Jeez. I would just be stunned if there wasn't a moment in any negotiation where the Democrats don't surrender. All right. So we'll I see. still vote no. Let's see, see what happens. This will be fun. Yeah. All right. You want to take a bet? Uh, well, look, if you challenge me on air, I'm always gonna say yes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, sure. All right. But like, it'll be hard to define us, uh, the Democrats folding, but but maybe not. Maybe no. it'll be obvious. Yeah, I think okay. it'll be obvious. Shout, shout, 20 bucks? 50. Okay, all right, <laughs> fascinating. All right, we'll one, go for 50. One, all right. Oh, we shook on it. <laughs> okay, all right. all right. Okay, first of all, not buying it. Oh, totally. <laughs> okay. Um, so one, I do not yet concede. Two, what? okay, I'll explain. I'll explain. You're the okay. worst. No, correction. I I'm will the make best. my case. Okay, sign up through tyt.com slash jank for membership. Okay, uh, <laughs> I need 50 bucks. No, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. Okay. So, um, so look, uh, second of all, I'm not gonna say you tricked me into that bet. I, because I'm not a conservative who needs a safe space. Okay, good. Uh, I'm gonna say instead you played it well. I did. Right, like I didn't really wanna make that, but I was like just a little skeptical and you like bum rushed me into like, oh yeah, then make it bad. So it was well played on your Thank part. Thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, so now why am I not yet conceding? It's Trump, hold. So here's what I mean by that. Uh, first of all, credit where credit is due, uh, not just to Anna, <laughs> but to actual people in the real news. Um, so Schumer and Pelosi did hold strong, not only on, I'm not giving you the $5 billion, but Mitch McConnell came up with a compromise solution where they would have a billion dollar slush fund uh, that Trump could use for whatever he wants on immigration. And they said, no, you would not be able to use it for the wall. But not only that, we're not even gonna give you the slush That's fund. Right. So hell no, uh, I've almost never seen that before, the Republicans have signaled a a lot of weakness here. Guys like Roger Wicker from Mississippi going, well, I'm not sure we need that slush fund anyway. I'm like, whoa. I don't think okay. that they're signaling weakness. I think that they're signaling reality. They don't have the votes. They don't even, they're not even close to having the votes necessary. And that's part of the problem with Donald Trump, which is that he doesn't do his homework. So he got goaded like I did, so to be fair, right? <laughs> By uh, uh, Pelosi and Schumer into saying that he would shut the government down and that he had enough votes in the House. But he doesn't have enough votes in the House. We're not talking about the new House that's gonna have all the Democrats in it. We're talking about the current House that still has a majority of Republicans. The Republicans will not vote with Trump on this because uh, you wanna know why? They just lost 40 seats. They're like, yeah, it turns out voting with Trump didn't work out with us, for us, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay, so that's all the reasons why I'm giving credit to the, even to the establishment Democrats who I don't normally like, way to hold strong, excellent job, right? And, and that's the full context, but What's happening right now is a full court press from the right wing to yell at Donald Trump and Coulter, Rush Limbaugh, and, and, and obviously some folks on Fox News saying that he caved and he was weak. Mm, that is gonna get under that orange skin. So hold, this deal is not done yet. 
Ain't nothing done until it's uh, already over because you know Trump, he could flip flop seven different times. Mm -hmm. So I hope you're right. I don't want him shutting down the yeah, government. Yeah. And I love him folding and I love the Democrats being strong. So I'm looking forward to giving you that 50 bucks, but not yet. On the go, don't worry, we got you covered. You can still listen to TYT at our new podcast network. Find us on Apple Podcasts, the Google Play Store, or at tyt.com slash podcast.